So Wes Ball, the director of the Kingdom of Planet of Apes, recently shed light on how his upcoming sequel fits into the expansive timeline of the rebooted franchise. As the 10th installment in the series that traces its route back to the 1968 original, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes promises to build upon the narrative established in the 2011 reboot, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. In a recent interview with Empire, Ball explained that his film takes a big leap forward in time. The story unfolding after almost most of Caesar's living relatives have already passed away. This marks a significant shift as the ape kind enters the Bronze Age, a departure from the exploration of the Stone Age counterparts in previous entries. The recent reimagining of the Planet of the Apes franchise driven by modern motion capture technology has proved a detailed history of how apes became the dominant species on Earth. Ball's Bronze Age analogy not only aligns Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes with its recent predecessors, but also hints at the potential of the franchise to come full circle, possibly working toward the advanced ape society featured in the earliest movies. With the groundwork laid by previous films explaining the apes' rise to dominance, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes and its potential sequels could delve into the origins of their governmental system and powerful religious beliefs. This opens the door for reintroducing iconic figures like villainous Dr. Zayas and other key characters from the original movies, creating a captivating blend of continuity and fresh exploration in the ape-centric saga.